So I've been a little bit busy, so in the last episode I showed you I did my farms, and I told you I was ripping down my mob farm, and I did, and I started building this thing. Well, this is going to be my new mob farm, so let's go up there right quick and I'll have a little look on how it's done, and hopefully there's not too many bloody mobs around here that are going to disturb me while I try to get up here. So far so good. Alright, home free. Uh, this eventually I'm going to make into an ender pearl elevator. That way travel will be a lot faster. Um, this has been pretty heavy resources on pistons anyways uh, because this is my uh, my enderman farm that I had I showcased a little while ago, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, showcased and did a tutorial on it too. So the only difference is, is instead of giving it three air blocks, I only gave it two air blocks. So if you've watched my tutorial, you'll know what I'm talking about. So by giving it only two air blocks, I'm limiting it to being only certain mobs, and because it's only one wide platform, I'm also limiting it limiting it to certain mobs. Now, uh, I really can't go in and look at it. Oh, maybe from the top I can. Yeah, from the top I think I can. So, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? So, yeah, you're only going to have um, creepers. You're going to have uh, skeletons. And let me guess. I didn't bring any more with me, so... Uh, Alright, so creeper, skeletons, and zombies. That's all you're going to have collected in here. Um, they're going to hit the tripwire, they're going to get pushed off, and they're going to get set down. Uh, that's pretty much all that all there is to it. I can just cover that up like that. It's no big deal. This one's the same, and I'm going to be building another one right here. Oh, look at that. I, uh, hmm. I think about lighting that up. That's okay. Um, we can't spawn up here because they're all half slabs. So, all right. So let's get out of here, and this I'll be hopefully finishing off there shortly. And then when I have the, yeah, because there's a lot of mobs in there, so they just kind of like float out. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, so. Yeah, um, what's going to happen is right where at the bottom of those chambers are, I'm going to hook up like a, a lava blade kill chamber system and they're all going to flow into one spot and um, and die. And then that way I can just collect their, their drops and never mind the XP farm. Um, I also have a spider XP farm and... Uh, oh yeah... Alright, a spider XP farm, and I got my iron golem farm up and running. So, we're going to go check out the iron golem farm first. That's going to be our first thing. Um, I don't think I brought any... Uh, Alright, well, we'll just hoof it. It's no big deal. And it's night time, this sucks. Um, oh, I have a bed over there. I had a bed up there too. I could have gone over there and have. Ah, oh, anyways, doesn't matter. Does not matter. And I've been getting some pretty crappy trades from these guys. Um, so eventually, I'm gonna have to hook up like an infant breeder system, and I'll use my minecart separator with it. Anyways, I got a really good idea um, on how to uh, to do all this. So. You'll all be pretty darn impressed. Alright, so hello, Mr. Creeper. <laughs> Die. Alright. So 
So, yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, and then I'll hook up my separator to that. And then that way I could be able to sort through them and have all kinds of really good trades instead of some crappy ones. And I guess I should have brought some torches. Uh, let's see if I can get over there without being disturbed too much here. Yeah, that's right. Ah, screw you. Screw you. Ah, there you go. Alright, let's get over here and get to bed before... Ah, oh, come on, remote. Oh, I'm hungry. That's not my remote. So there's my iron golem. Ah, sleepy, sleepy. That's good. No more mobs. Boom. Alright, so here's the iron golem farm. Um, so now I just gotta kill you guys myself. But I guess I'll probably put up a crafting system to that later on. And then that way I can collect their drops. Um, the one I decided to use was just the normal Doc M one. Uh, the one that was on uh, JL259 server, if I'm not mistaken, so I guess it's like the original Iron Golem farm that I'm uh, I'm using. Um, I'm eventually going to build another cell on the top of it, but it's going to take me a little while to collect the sand, because I did this before we did this had the sand generator, and I really don't want to go doing it in a different color material, because that would just kind of suck. And then I would have to build like a frame over top of it and hide it all, and you know, you know what I'm saying? It's a real pain in the ass. Yeah, a real pain in the ass. So, that's that. Um... Check out all my villagers. How many have I got going in there? Or did I destroy all of the... I think I destroyed the whole thing. So I can't really go walking around. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, I can. Alright. So they're doing the happy, happy, joy, joy thing in here. And I gotta cover this over on them. So no mobs spawn and all that good stuff. Because I just, just got them in here not long ago. Uh, probably right before I started recording this, so as you see, they're they're doing their thing, and as more villagers come, well, I'll be able to get more iron golems, and voila. All right, so now we'll go back home, and I'll show you my spider spawner, where I plop that bad boy. Um, let's see. Yeah, that one was in my mines. So I'll eventually have to make a, a nice way to get there instead of running through my mines. I'll have to hook up some kind of minecart system to it. And this track right here that's up in the air is just temporary. Um, I will eventually do like a minecart <coughs> system to all my areas that I'm going to need to go to. Um, I'm also going to build something in the snow biome because now that we can collect ice and uh, that's going to be awesome I'll be able to build something nice to the ice and it'll be even more beneficial to me because of the fact that um, you can use it for all your mob drops and stuff like that there and item transportation systems which is pretty amazing that is awesome so, before I go in there, I just want to check on the ice, if I still have ice in here. Um, not there, not there. There we go, I got 58 blocks. I want to take that with me. Just because uh, I'll be working on my mob system later on. And uh, I want to make sure that I'm going to have some ice with me. I haven't fixed anything else in my map yet, just probably because I've been uh, wanting to get these projects done for a very, very long time now, and I think it's important that I get them up and running, just because, like, you know, I'm going to need, like, lots of iron, and it's going to save me from mining all the time, which is probably a good thing, because, you know, I like mining, but I don't want to spend my entire time there either, and... Yeah, that's pretty much all that. So I guess I got some cave systems around here. 
or they're spawning up in the wiring, one of the two. Anyways, we go this way into the mines. And then we'll take a run down this way. And I only got one piece of chicken left on me. I hmm. guess I should have grabbed more food on my way by. But that's okay. Because this is only going to be a short video. Oh, and uh, I'll update the map online too, so you'll be able to go download this and check out what I've done so far. Alright, so you're not going to go down the first tunnel on your left. Or, yeah, uh, no, actually it's your right. <laughs> uh, you won't go down this one, you'll go down this one right here. Alright. And it's right up here. Now, there's probably a bunch of mobs that could spawn around me, so... We'll just uh, play this by ear for now because I haven't really done anything other than kind of set it up. So they're going to spawn in here. They're going to go down in this water tunnel. <clears throat> and then they're going to go up this uh, spider elevator. Now, um, I might do a video on the spider elevator just because a lot of people, um, I, I don't know if a lot of people have actually like, do it or whatever or even use these, but um, I find this one to be the best one. I've seen a few other designs and this one works the best and I'll probably end up doing a video on it. Who the original person that designed this thing? I have no idea. I really don't. Um, just because so many people have done videos on it and all this. And, but whatever. Uh, this is how it's going to work. Now I'm going to have to figure out another way other than this right here just because of the way you're going to see how things get collected. If I can kill them. And then, see, so I gotta jump up here to get my stuff. And I don't want to be jumping up there all the time to get my stuff. Because jumping voice energy. Oh, uh, wrong one. So, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. If I let it go for a while there, it, uh. They really give her. Well, it sounds like they're almost stuck somewhere, right? I think they're just at the top here. Probably only gonna come up in one shot. There's one. Where are all your buddies? Where are all your buddies? be tracking me from in there now. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. Yeah, that's pretty much all the gist of this thing. So now I'll be able to get tons of spider eyes. And uh string. If I'm gonna need it anyways for anything. And like I said I gotta figure out a better way than that because jumping up and down sucks. Alright, so that's that. I'll get away from here. Um, yeah. Alright, so what else can I show you that I've done? Hmm. Oh, I think I just ran past my... Yeah, I did too. Yeah. There we go. If you ever want to know... <coughs> sorry, if you ever playing this game and um, you want to know where you are in my mines, um, this right here, this little cross kind of thing there, shows you're at the end of, end of the map and that this is your main tunnel. So if you ever come to an intersection like this and you can look, well, look down towards that side and you'll see that uh, it's the uh, the main inter intersection or junction or whatever the hell you want to call it. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, so... Oh my lord, what else do I or do do? Oh, nice. <laughs> Sucker. Um, I really don't know what else there is. So now that I've beat the Ender Dragon, um, and I got my Iron Golem farm up and running, which is a good thing, because I'm going to need that all for pistons and stuff. Uh, so I guess that's going to be my next big project after I get my, um, my farm up and running here. And I'll go back to my... Um, the hell, my mob spawner farm, that's where I'm going to go, and I'm going to go talk about that for a few minutes before I end the video, and I'm going to tell you what my plan is for the look of the idea of this thing. <clears throat> 
So as you can see, that it's kind of like this, right? So now, imagine kind of like an island, a floating island underneath of it, with like parts of it falling off, and it's just kind of like suspended up there. That's my plan. So I'm going to build like a little bit of a floating island. So where that bottom shelling is, is probably going to be part of the island. And um, where the dirt line going up there is probably going to be like the middle of the island. And that's where you're going to ender pearl up. So you'll be ender pearling up through like the bottom middle portion of the island to the top and then when you get to the top well you're gonna have like this nice little majestic area and I'll put some waterfalls and stuff like that up there and um, I'll try to do something with the looks of that so that way it's not just looking like that you know like uh, I'll put like a kind of a, like a building or something with it and make it look a lot nicer uh, so that's my plan for that, and I have lots of dirt, so that's not a problem building the damn thing. Yeah, so that's my plan. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Like I said, I put a new download for it, so you can go and check all this stuff out. And thanks for watching, peace, and until next time.